I'll tell you what, you know who else you can't put in a box? Hideki Matsuyama, who shot the yeah. round of the day. 65 7 under, second in approach, uh, excuse me, sixth in approach, second in putting. He's had plenty of success around here. Bogey free, 65. How sexy, did, sexy does that beard look, too? Love the beard. Love the Hideki beard. Hideki is, is he might be the team captain of hadn't hadn't popped up for two months and all of a sudden he's leading one of the hardest tournaments on tour yeah he's super annoying in that way but he's like if, if you're not invested at all like either good or bad in hideki like i love that part of him like, yeah he just comes out of no he's like batman right just comes out of nowhere starts smacking guys in the head and he's in and he's in the thing yeah he uh <laughs> he had some great quotes afterward uh, i think i put one of them I did put one of them on Twitter about just, it's like, I don't know. I feel good today, but tomorrow's could be different. <laughs> and you're like, yep. that's a man who just shot 65 at Muirfield village. Uh, he's got, is he the, uh, we'll do favorites at the end. He listen, like he was really good today. And this is such a, he just always, he plays so well here, you know, and he plays well at Augusta national. He play. he's just, so such a good ball striker. He's not doing, he's not leaning on the putter. He never really leans on the putter, but compared to some of the other guys at the top, I'm, I'm, I had him for something this week. I think outright at like 35 to one, which I'm pumped about. So yeah, it was a, it was a great second day, long way to go, but his statistical profile so far is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Justin Suh is currently uh, doing his post round interview with Todd Lewis, holding his putter, which mm. cannot be, Cannot be good. I've never seen a guy bring a prop to his post round interview. We'll get to that in just one second. Patrick can't lay five under par. He's going to enter the weekend. Three shots off the, excuse me, two shots off lead. five under on Friday, six under for the tournament. Uh, Patrick can't lay and Muirfield village go together like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. I've got him to finish top 10 this week. Another, another bearded guy. Uh, he, he, you know, he wasn't, great on thursday and so you're kind of like okay you know and then just cruises on friday he's so good here and it makes you wonder like every, i feel like rick everything patrick cantley does makes me wonder why he's not better at majors right like just playing great not only at easy tour courses but hard ones as well he was awesome on friday i would imagine he's the new favorite uh, but I don't know. We'll get to that at the end. Yeah, we will get to that at the end. Rory McElroy shot a Friday 68. He started on the front nine, so he ended on seven, eight, nine. Birdies both seven and eight. Statistically, KP, it was very well rounded. Uh, gain strokes across the board, all four major categories. And uh, you know, remember he gave up three shots on a on a single hole yesterday, but is still very much in the mix here. It was interesting. I was looking at his. Did Scheffler? He made what is Scheffler? He made bogey on the last. So did he make the cut? Yeah, as long as it stays at three over, which is the very likely scenario. Yes. Okay, I've got a thing on him. We can do it in a second. But the Rory stuff is interesting because he's really he's putting very well this week. Justin Ray had the stats, and I looked it up, Rick. He's actually been a better ball striker this year than last year and yet statistically and yet he seems to have this like real consternation over his swing and and i like if you watch it you you sort of understand because it's not it doesn't feel easy in big events right now for him it feels like a real struggle in ways that it didn't last year so I understand that part of it, but the numbers say that he's been a better ball striker th since January one than he was at this like January one to Memorial last year, which I thought was really interesting. I also thought it was interesting that he's never can really like contended. I, I say that he's finished in the top five here, but I don't remember him being like second or third late on a Sunday. Maybe I'm, just misremembering that, but a uh, good bounce back from the opening 72 where he tripled the last and he's in a good position going into Saturday. Yeah. He had a quote that like Mirfield village kind of boxes him in and doesn't really let him hit driver in the way that he wants to. So obviously having, you know, your best weapon, at least mentally be put 
in in back in the bag. Um, yeah, kind of a weird situation for him because he should be able to drive it all over the place. Uh, Spieth shot an even par 72. He's going to be five back going into the weekend. Uh, I am completely over the wrist thing. The wrist is not a concern. He gave us a, a, a quote like, yeah, it's fine. So I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah, he plays well here, which, again, not a surprise because he uh, – not sure if you remember this, but he plays very well at Augusta National. Mm. Heard of that. Somebody's yelling about Xander in the comments. What did he do? Xander shot a 66, which was 11 shots better than his Thursday round. So this was – Plenty good enough to get him inside the cut line. He's actually in a tie for 22nd right now. He bogeyed his first hole of the day, number 10, and then went ham and cheese, 31 on his second nine. That's five under. So he played his last 14 holes at seven under par. I did see this. I, I was confused. Somebody was yelling about Xander. I thought he was like still on the course, but I no, saw it's earlier. Just, it's like eight hours ago. Yeah, I saw earlier he shot 77-66. Uh which was good for me because I think my best bet was Xander top 20. Correct. Yes. So he's, he's on pace. Yeah. We're looking good. We were not looking good 24 hours ago, but uh, played a lot better. Obviously on Thursday, I didn't, I did, didn't see much of his round on Friday morning. Um, but uh, he's kind of, I, I, I think the thing that's interesting, Rick is it's really difficult to, win from the position like shooting 77 in the first round like right now after 36 holes he looks like he's in a great spot to maybe go out and get a win but if you just look at the way tournaments play out it almost never happens that when you shoot one really bad round what he was probably lost three or four strokes to the field on thursday yep. that you, that you can make up the other you really need to gain like 20 or so over the next three days or in the other three rounds, no matter when that bad round is gaining 20 strokes over in three rounds is, is really, really difficult to do. So we'll see, but it was a great Friday.